you've given her money, and so that way she doesn't actually love you, but she sticks around. And then five years later, she'll just get attached to the idea of you. I agree. <laughs> I also have a baby. So let me rehash. <laughs> you want me to spend five years getting her buddy mm -hmm. in the hopes that she'll be attached to me it works via for us. dried mud. I'm already halfway there. Which half? The baby half or the attached half? <laughs> the attached half, I'm very chaste. You better be. Then how do you have a baby? Even I understand. No, that. Uh, we will. Uh, we will. Permission to speak crassly. We will make the baby. <laughs> too crass, sweetie. I'm sorry, Mom. And I bring these two in holy matrimony. Matrimony is where you get both of you together forever. And as is in the Mississippi way, they roll in mud. <laughs> is there anyone that will object to this marriage? <laughs> Gene, you can't marry them. Uh, they have French biscuit at the soup kitchen again. I know. I want New England ham chowder. <laughs> Last time I asked for a New England ham chowder, and they had American ham chowder. <laughs> uh, it's too red for me. <laughs> so tomatoey. Yeah. You new homeless types have weird, sophisticated palates. <laughs> we just can't keep up with all the college-educated homeless people. <laughs> <laughs> with your fancy bistro tastes and your and your Italian words. Whatever. I was a fine arts major, what do you expect? <laughs> Likewise. Or as the Italians say, Likewise. <laughs> I, wish, I wish we had a nice French baguette to decide this. Uh, what? Can we have baguettes? I have sourdough. That's what I have. What does this look like? It's not going to cut it. Look, um, we're not from San Francisco. Uh, sourdough bread bowl is not going to cut it here. Um, baguette would be nice. Perhaps, uh, maybe you, some nice brie cheese. You guys know that this place is funded brie by cheese. the loose change they find at YMCA locker rooms, right? <laughs> he said brie cheese and you didn't... You no, didn't I'm ignoring the brie cheese. We don't have breach. We have cheddar oh. sometimes oh. when it falls off of a back of the right. truck. All right. Um, sorry, little sidetrack. Did we miss the wine tasting, or is that gonna? There was no wine tasting. We gave out grape juice boxes. <laughs> when, when was that? We Three more that. grape boxes for those. We found more back in the room, but. Oh, two more, two more grape boxes. Are they conquered grapes? <laughs> One more grape box. There. Their generic Costco brand grape juice boxes. Juke box? Juice box? <laughs> uh, this thing's riddled with What are we, ones. children? <laughs> oh man, I'm a. We're I'm, sophisticated men. Right. Hi guys! Um, so Don't talk down to us like that. Okay, sweetie. Uh, distinguished homeless people. Hey, well, I know you guys want to be out on the street, but I decided that I'd bring you guys some cereal. Um, no it Raisin Bran Crunch? I got Fruityos at ShopRite brand. <laughs> Fruityos? It was less money. I had the ShopRite card. You couldn't get the ShopRite brand for Raisin Bran Crunch? But then I would have eaten it anyway. But, like, I would have been trying, at least. I thought the Fruityos would be fun. There's, like, blues and yellows. It's just a fun color combination. Here's your skim milk for your cereal. What are they grazing cows? <laughs> <laughs> no. Hey, Grass fed. Care of my son. Mm. You wait. <laughs> I'm sorry. Did you say son? Yeah, he's yes. my son. Yes, Why isn't wrong. he living at home with you? He wants to. He just doesn't. Hey, like I'm self-made. All right. <laughs> that's. 
You weren't even driven to homelessness, you picked it? I mean, I was trying to do a good job and like, be a contributing member of society. Just society doesn't if support you, people like I me. don't want to hear I'm any more. It's, you know what I'm saying? I guarantee that you are not society's fault. Oh, yeah? Flashback. <laughs> Look, I know you were tardy for your job, but we're very understanding here at Target, and if you want to keep your position, we are very open. Get out of here with your corporate lies! <laughs> I don't need you, Rick, where but I, I, I might stay outside in the front and, you know, haggle people for a little while. Rick, you can, you can be in the back. Oh, don't you? lie to me! There'll be a box. Look at you with your red vest, <laughs> thinking you can say whatever you want. You got four pins going down the right side. Yeah, I got four stars. Yeah, well, that's what society wants you to think. <laughs> it's the stars are good. Yeah, hi, I'd like to offer your uh, uh, position here at grad school. Uh, we'd like you to be a TA. Uh, TA? Yeah. Not professor? <laughs> Come on, get that out of here. I need to teach these kids what they need. Huh? You know what I'm saying? Hey, sweetie, so as a little birthday present, me and your father have decided to give you I don't think so! I'm a man. <laughs> I'm hitting the streets. Cut back. $10,000. Your mom was going to hand you $10,000. No, she did. You slapped. She threw it. Yeah, you slapped a wad of cash yeah. from your mother's hands. Yeah, I should have slapped her harder. No. no. I was almost going to give him a car, but he didn't let me finish, finish speaking. I write a blank, OK? I, I respect know. that kind of how dangerous cars are for the environment. Tip, you can find good ones. What kind of car were you going to give him? Oh, a Prius? That's the, oh, well, it's, it's pretty good. It's not the best. <laughs> yeah, I remember. She had it, and I slashed its tires. She had it out front. Slashed its tires. She had it out front. Slashed its tires. I offered him more top tires, too. I, you know, that was, I assumed that. Do you know where rubber comes from? Trees? Kind of. Wait, not kind of. There are rubber trees. Not, not trees made of rubber, but they're rubber trees. That's what the man wants you to think. That's not what the man, that's what biologists made. And who's, who's a biologist? Men, women. Paid off by the government. Not always. Sometimes they're privately funded. Not these guys. Not the rubber ones, I'll tell you that. <laughs> I don't think there's a very specific corruption inside biology with rubber trees. Who do you think knows better? Us? No. You can say any other person and the answer is they know better. A, a baby. <laughs> the baby. The baby knows better than uh, you. You know why? Because the baby doesn't slap the bottle away from his mother unless it had an involuntary hand twitch. <laughs> No, do you know who I am? No, I'm Pamela fucking Anderson. I'm an environmentalist and an animal rights activist, and I'm hot, and I won't take your shit anymore. Oh, here, spare change. I don't, I don't want your handouts, Pam. <laughs> Excuse me? Looks like you just had to talk with the man. I did. I told my lawyer man I wasn't going to do that gig anymore. We have an open seat if you come to join the Free Society. We're just patriots living the dream. You sure you don't want anything else with me? No, I don't want your corrupted body. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, I'll sit with you. I have nothing else to do. Not on me. I said, I said we have an extra seat, Pam. Are you sure you don't want me to sit on you? I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure. This is my partner. Oh. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't get that vibe, sorry. What do you mean? <laughs> Seems like you were grumpy and angry and passionate. Oh, That's oh, so... Usually like a characteristic of a very heterosexual man, you know? Gay people can be grumpy and angry. <laughs> this is the most closed-minded conversation I've heard in a long time. Here's just gruel, I guess. What do you guys even eat? What do you eat anymore anyway? I don't need anything that the sun touches. <laughs> I've had worse reactions. That was a that was a good
a joke over there during that meeting. Dexter. <laughs> <laughs> you saw how I made him all self conscious. <laughs> you want some coffee to go with your heat? <laughs> Oh my god, it was so funny because you're like, because how about, how about you put your numbers up? Very good job. I 
don't see what your problem is. I'm not saying anything to that guy. That is a special mug holder. Do you want to talk to your mug? <laughs> best employees. <laughs> and you're just causing so many issues. They're, the work environment is suffering because of you. Um, I assume this is a very serious issue because we've been called to the CEO's office. Um, does somebody want to explain what happened here? What? Alright. <laughs> so we're at the meeting. So we're at the meeting, right? <laughs> come on, come on. Uh, you can ruin it. You can ruin it. So we're at the meeting. We're going around the table. Put your arms up. Put your arms up. Over there. He's, he's over there. He's at the table. And he just freezes. He's like, whoa, 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 whoa. We got the numbers. We got the numbers. The numbers have been requested. Okay, so he didn't put his numbers. She okay. said, me. She watched me. She's over there. Say, 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 I said, I said, <clears throat> why don't you put your And I'll call, you know, Phoebe, Oscar winning moment. And at that moment, Phoebe's either going to deliver to the scene what would win her an Oscar if it were the Academy Awards seasons, or she'll step out and reveal something that would be a plot twist um, that would be up to her choice. So, to get us started from this half of the room, can I get any word? Bees. Bees. Bees is your word. <laughs> just not producing as much honey as they used to. These damn pesticides. <laughs> <laughs> the farm next door is totally ruining our honey business. Ben, Oscar winning moment. All my life. <laughs> <laughs> Since I first got the bee bug. <laughs> All I've wanted to help the world. Bees are so useful, no one recognizes them ever. They hate them, they want to eradicate them. But they don't understand. Bees are the reason for humans' sustenance. They pollinate all the plants. They make flowers. They give us honey. Honey never goes bad. No one knows that. <laughs> And in the year 2025, all of these will be gone. The humans will die out. And there will be no one. Sweetheart, you're staring at the wall again. I'm just, I'm just assuming that you're going off in your mind about how much you love bees again. Sorry, um, sorry. It's, it's okay. Um, it's just we need to just, just focus on the business. All right, um, and so if you just stare at the wall all day, nothing, nothing's gonna get done. So, my thinking spot. All right, you cannot, can't ruin that for me. One thing I have going for me is that in uh, situations of pressure, I can just think, and I will come up with a solution. We need to figure out a way to get these damn farmers away. Get, get rid of our neighbors. That's that's what the solution is. Not focus on our bees and our business. You want to eliminate the competition and the people who are using the pesticides. That's right. One of my bee friends in Africa. He bred a new bee. 
I don't know if you've heard of it. Yeah, I, you've mentioned it a couple times. Killer. Killer bee. It's time. There's definitely no downside to this. At all. <laughs> I've already had the first one sent over. <laughs> you had Aaron send it over already? Yes. Don't you see the danger that this is? It's going towards all the other bees. Phoebe, ask him any moment. My husband is such an idiot. I can't handle it. We've been married for 15 years, and every single year he comes up with some new, asinine way of making our business better, and every single year it just gets worse and worse, and he just cries day in and day out about these damn bees, and all I'm thinking is, how am I going to put food on our five-year-old's plate? I don't know, because all he thinks of is the freaking honey, now there's a killer bee flying around me right now, and all I can think is that it's going to sting me and I'm going to die. But he doesn't seem to care, because all he cares about is the fucking bees. That's all he focuses on, day in and day out. I just want our marriage to be whole again. Woo! <laughs> Ronald! You named it Ronald? <laughs> Ronald! Ronald! Stand by me. How long have you had it here? You trained it? <laughs> I had Aaron do the grunt work for me. This bee is prepared for anything. Aren't you, Ronald? Ronald, I'll so many moments. I was bred in a lab. <laughs> Taken from my mom at an early age to kill humans. They just think I'm going to sting anyone. But they don't realize that I know as soon as I sting someone, I die. So I'm going to wait. I'm gonna wait until they introduce me to the queen bee. I'm gonna mate and create killer bees, more bees than humans, and then I'm gonna get the most devoted ones to go into the, the house of all these people, and each single bee will take its life, and we will finally have our earth again. <laughs> he thinks that I'm just gonna follow anything he says. No, people have been taking my honey without, without my permission all through time, and it ends today. Wow, look at him go. He just lost a lot. <laughs> He's got fire in him. <laughs> Sounds fairly threatening. I don't know. Not that I speak B, but... I mean, and come on, can we talk about his size? He's huge. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's gonna do some damage. I hope Aaron remembered to, you know, put the gene in him so that he can sting more than once. <laughs> I'm really counting on him for that. And <laughs> Now we're playing a game called Countdown. It's for Shannon, Declan, and Phoebe. It said Phoebe's on the paper, but I'm not going to call her that. Um, Wait, you so just did. I like Phoebe. It's fine. I said it said Phoebe's. I didn't call her Phoebe's. Anyway, um, the way Countdown works is they're going to do a scene in one minute, and then we're going to see it in 30 seconds, go down to 15, and so on. And then there'll be a little twist to it. Um, so from the way back, can I get a word to get us started? Shapeshifter. Shapeshifter. I'm finally going to beat you in the Rubik's Cube Challenge. Not today. Not today. It's not going to happen. Ding! 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 I did it. Did I see some sticker bending? You did not. <laughs> Maybe some some cube alterations. Did I see you pull a bottle of WD-40? I, I, I tried. I thought so. Oh. I thought so. This is like a ball bearing. Oh. This is not a plastic toy. <laughs> you had to cheat to beat me. What a sucker! I need that. <laughs> Disqualified. I, I mean, I did it again. You no, still did. No, you still have to finish it. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. And if she doesn't, do I win? No, no you've been disqualified. <laughs> Ding. Nope. I'll get you with the Yu-Gi-Oh card tournament. <laughs> Scene. <laughs> Alright. Now we're gonna see it. 
in 30 seconds. Go. I want to beat you with the Rubik's Not Cube. today. Not today. Oh, ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I dare win. Sticker bending. <gasps> Mmm, WD4? No, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't do that one. It is. Mm, this is a ball bearing. Ah. You had the cheat to beat me. This wild line. Oh, I just finished she it. She has to win. Okay. I'm going to beat you on Yu Gi Oh! It's not your turn. Ding. I forgot what I said. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, 15 seconds. Go. Roots! Ding! Stickers! Stickers! WD40! You just walked no. out. Okay, we're going to keep going. Huh? Huh? Is there a win? Yup. Let's see. Seven seconds. Go. Ding, ding, ding. No, 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 no. <laughs> We can do one of two things. We can do it backwards in 10 seconds, or do it in three seconds. What do you backwards, have to say? Backwards, 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 backwards it is, backwards. all right. And, hold up. <laughs> We're experiencing technical. Go! Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh, you want? You can lose to win. <laughs> I don't do it. Hold on, I mean, I'm going to beat you with a Yu-Gi-Oh tournament. <laughs> 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 Geographic location that Dylan and Declan traveled to, somewhere from the middle. The jungle. White House. Wild Lake. White House. White House. White House. You went to the White House. Ah, I remember our vicious pat down at the hands of the social security. <laughs> Security. Also, whatever the security is named. Secret Service. <laughs> <laughs> I got there eventually. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't. We don't have a successful. Whatever the hell we're calling this, based on me holding your hand through your difficulties. Well, I shouldn't have worn all of my studs. In the yeah, they the the set the metal. Let's let's they went see. Nuts. I want to see us. I want to see us go through the metal detector again. Can we can we see it? Click click. You were like you were like. What do you mean? The Dumb studs body. are metal. What do you mean? The eight ounces of metal I have pierced through my body is the same thing I should for the president's life. That's a weird question. I feel like that's oh, they, they should have yeah. Um, and and there's me just like really really upset. I thought the most interesting thing about this was that there was no security at the entrance of the White House. <laughs> no guards, all self-patrol. They put, they put a metal detector up in the middle, and they didn't even put like ribbons or anything that was like, go through the you could walk on either side of the metal detector. So, my question to you is, why did you go through the metal detector? What? Well, I assumed it was the honor system or something. <laughs> That's what I always had to do in high school, it was just a habit. That's fair. Well, we finally ran into security at What's a room in the White House that we went to? The Oval Office. The Oval Office. <laughs> <laughs> and then they, they were like, they were there. I think every they, Secret Service agent was in the Oval Office. <laughs> yeah. Maybe it was like their monthly debriefing. Check out. Check out. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, check out is better because I like the sound of it. Yeah, they only see the president once. Yeah. And he needs his prostate exam. So. <laughs> Let's see that prostate. <laughs> <laughs> but no president at the presidential prostate exam. <laughs> no, it, was just, really? it was just me making a president's stance and you checking your own pulse. 
That's true. But the Secret Service clearly getting the glove on and the the juice. Somebody's getting their prostate. Right? Yeah. Let me tell you that. And I don't remember who it was. <laughs> like, it was. <laughs> I got the raw. Who's this? This this lady. <laughs> it was another tourist. Oh. You would I think just, that would be a private screening. <laughs> I talked to her afterwards. What did she think? Like, <laughs> it was. You know, the pressing was, it was done really well. <laughs> and uh, you're lucky to be so healthy. Mm. Yeah. Good. Firm. Yeah. You know. <laughs> the usual. Yeah. But, like, on the, but then, and this is when she was saying, but on the other hand... I just had to see a dude get his butt finger. Yeah. <laughs> that's, the, that's the other thing that she would say. <laughs> <I'll make it. laughs> Way less butt fingering in the next <laughs> one. So much, so much There's less. a steep drop off in yeah. fingers. I, was, I, I, I think know, I, I was. See. I think I was. Oh, you were, you were I was, scarred. You I were was scarred. crying. Yeah. <laughs> then, oh. uh, well, that was it. Which is a natural yeah. reaction to being bent over the resolute desk and. <laughs> uh, but we won't. We won't we won't, we won't go further into that. Let's go back into uh, where they took us they to the situation. Far enough, I think. Yeah, they went, they went, we went to the situation room, and uh, the chiefs of staff were there. They were all taking a nap. Like, <laughs> just one chief, just two chiefs. The, 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 the two chiefs. That's the that's the naval person. What are you doing there? Uh, I had, that's her. my magnifying glass. I was, uh, I was making sure that she didn't have a buildup of earwax. Uh, in the tradition of our unorthodox medical practices at the White House, strong. <laughs> when you establish a tradition as strong as that one, you have to keep it up. <laughs> what did we do next? I totally forget. I checked the other ear of the other person. Oh, that's right. Click. Yeah, Slowly, I did. <laughs> I did it very carefully and slowly. I don't know how you got that from looking at What? I remember, I remember the, the deliberate nature of my earwax buildup check. Oh, oh someone's in their process right there! Wait! <laughs> See, I think at this point, I just became vengeful, because that's definitely a female. That's not even the person that gave it to me. You're <laughs> just going around, touching bottles. <laughs> So, um, after, so in the situation room, do you remember when we launched the drone strike? And, um... It was pretty rad. It was crazy. <laughs> we like... Uh, I pointed... They have a map on the table. And I pointed at the table, I said, Here! And the admiral from the Navy was like, That's New York! <laughs> and then, and then, uh, and then another... See, that's another tourist. Was like, But my house! <laughs> Whatever. It's hard to do day trips to DC. I'd be upset if my home was obliterated. <laughs> yeah, that's, that would change the whole nature of the of the trip. Do you, do you remember? I I just saw it next in the slide. Do you remember when she sent us that uh, that lawsuit and also a picture of her obliterated house? <laughs> Click. Do you remember when we tore it up? Click. <laughs> we tore up a house. Oh, we tore up a picture. Of yeah. Well, we tore up the house too. But that was with missiles. So. <laughs> I wonder how she's doing. I think. I think she died. Oh, so. That's a shame. Oh well. Oops. Uh, I remember but the the best. I think the, the hands down, the second best part of the trip because the first best part was. The butt. The butt stuff. <laughs> Which I apparently have a penchant for. Yeah, the second, but the second best part was when we got into Abe Lincoln's bedroom and, and met his ghost. Oh, that was new. <laughs> <laughs> I, why were we in his bed? <laughs> for sex. <laughs> no? Uh, well, I, mm, think about tradition, man. Butt stuff? Straight on through. <laughs> Even in the green room. Like. <laughs> and on the lawn. Like. <laughs> and when we got home. Like. <laughs> that was my turn. But Abe Lincoln's ghost. Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Way more 
transparent in his time in office. Yeah. Uh, I thought, I thought it, his his shirt was too big. I think was the message that he came to us with. <laughs> he, said, he said, "I'm a president and I can't have a tailor." <laughs> it was not, not a good. <laughs> it was not a good message to, or a particularly interesting <laughs> one. Or what he was. He was the least interesting presidential ghost that we met. He wasn't even wearing his hat. Abe Lincoln's not Abe Lincoln without his hat. Yeah. Where was Abe Lincoln's hat? Did he, did I think it was stuck with Taft in the bathtub. <laughs> <laughs> yep, there it is. <laughs> Covering the unsavory bits. <laughs> Look at Taft in all his glory. <laughs> This one up for a little while. Yeah, this is my favorite. <laughs> hey Taft, you filling out that whole hat? <laughs> Let's rip on Taft for a little while. <laughs> Taft, you had the vastly oh wait. Let me rephrase that. Your mustache was shit, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Teddy Roosevelt got you beaten every category. And elections. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Anyway, nice. good job, me. Back to our rough riding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I, that was a good reference. That was too good. Because I'm at freaking whatever. I don't care. Click. Next thing, you click. I licked, I licked the side of your face. But you didn't like it. But yeah. you didn't like it. It's gross. It's, well, I don't know. I don't know what got into me. I think it might have been, I think it might have been that Washington's portrait was behind us. So I was like, this is this is what this is what old George would want. I don't have any reason to think that. That's just a thing of it. Unfortunately, the Secret Service and George don't see eye to eye because he's dead and society is rather progressive. So we had reached our butt stuff allotment for the day and were therefore kicked out of the whole White House. <laughs> the entire thing. Click. Click. By one, so, so, so he came and got me, and then and he brought me outside. But then he came back for you, cause cause I think after the prostate exam, they all went home. <laughs> Start for the day. They went to have a drink. The, the, the secret service agent yelling, "I'll be back for you in a couple of minutes." And he was. Stay there. But you didn't stay there. Of course not. <laughs> Who I jumped in the fountain. Nice. <laughs> And I and the Secret Service agent was like, nothing I can do about that. <laughs> Better wait until he comes out of the fountain. <laughs> Which I never. <laughs> Which I never. Yo, Eric. I don't. I don't. I think. I think we. I think it's the next picture that shows us doing this slideshow in the fountain. So it's like a meta picture. Who took? Drones took the picture. <laughs> So I ran. Okay. Thus ends our scrapbook. Click, <laughs> click. Okay, take us away, Secret Service agent. We're ready to, go. but yet only one of us at a time, remember. You don't have the resources to send us both to Iran at the same time. Never stay. show last year. It's Musical Improv. I don't know if some of you have seen it last year, but if not, it's really awesome. And we have a special guest with us tonight to help us, Matt Beer. Everyone here? Within the next 150 years, 
I'm pretty like ninety five percent sure that robots are going to take over the earth. Very good, Greg. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. I would love to see your proof whenever you're ready. You Just know? if you like, two on the left, one on the right. Yes. <laughs> you're, uh, you're gaining skill very quickly, thank Greg. You. Thank you. Almost at an alarming rate. What are you? What are you saying? Don't surpass me, Greg. <laughs> The moment you surpass me, I've lost all of my relevancy. And we can't have that now, can we, Greg? Me? Surpass you? It's impossible. I don't know what you're talking about. I surpassed my master slash apprenticeship. <laughs> this is a legal contract. <laughs> I would never cross you, master. <laughs> Master doesn't know what I'm after. I would never, ever surpass her. But let me speak quietly, cause it's all I got. She'll never know that I am a robot. <laughs> Greg. <laughs> and he moves kind of quickly. Right, I've been also training my body besides just Do a push-up, Greg. It's going to be really hard. I'm not really strong or anything. Are you going to be rigid, Greg? <laughs> oh, that was chance. <laughs> do one with me on your back, Greg. That's going to be really hard. Probably won't be able to do it. <laughs>
Thanks, Matt. Wherever you went. Um, okay, so this next game is for. Who? Ben, Phoebe, no, Dylan, like Laura, Shannon. Shannon. Okay. Oh, sorry. This is 151. Uh, for those of you that have been to shows before, you've probably seen us. This. this is a game we do quite frequently. And how it's going to work is one person is going to step out on stage into a scene, and then another person is going to step out into a two person scene that's completely different, and it's going to go three, four, five in the same principle, and then it's going to go all the way back down um, to one. So what we need to start is just a word from the back. Mass car. Skyscraper. Mass car. Mass car. I like chameleon. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, this performance art is brilliant. <laughs> Look at the utter surprise on his face. <laughs> I'm honestly not sure we're supposed to run that, but I've, I've had a whole lot of emotion. I feel something from you. Jeremy, you can't, you can't hide in a tree for hide and seek. It's not fair. We're not gonna you look up. No, you didn't say anything in the rules. You didn't say, you didn't say no trees. Jeremy, I have a fear of heights, <laughs> so then don't be the one who finds me. That's not fair, though, because he's gonna he's gonna seek next. And what if you what if you go in a higher tree? He can't ever find you. You're gonna die up there. You... <laughs> what? <laughs> you know we're committed to this game. If we don't find you, you have to stay there forever. <laughs> You had to say that in the rules, too! We did! I, I wouldn't have played if I had known it was to the death! <laughs> Are you guys watching Game of Thrones without me? No, no. We're, this is TLC. <laughs> uh, addicted to fantasy. And uh, TLC. This is the new commercial for Five Gum. <laughs> That's Five um, Gum feels like dragons. <laughs> Guess, guess what? Guess what happens when you chew five gum? Your family dies at um at, at a wedding. Guys, I'm sorry, I'm not doing autographs anymore. I left One Direction, so sorry. <laughs> but say, come on, now just make it easier for all of us. Um, damn kids. This is a time for an important lesson. Dad, don't. Don't speak over me, <laughs> When someone tells you no, it means no. Unless unless they unless okay. they mean unless they mean no, per, pursue me. Are you is this like a I'll, 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 get, I'll, I'll do a picture. Okay, so this is this is a time for another important lesson, which is that sometimes no is misleading and they really do want to sign the autograph. Yeah. I'll be legal in five years. Oh. That's, that is inappropriate. <laughs> that is inappropriate to bring up. Uh, Clarissa, please don't, please don't propose sex with a celebrity in front of your father. Uh, I've got a girlfriend. Also, um, don't. Oh wait. Oh right. She doesn't mean that. I'm sure that your relationship is just just it's, super it's, tight. Yeah, it's tight. Well. Yeah. Look, one picture, or or that's it. I'll go. <coughs> So go ahead, get over there. <laughs> yeah, I don't, and they want that. That's the thing that they want. Oh, I can't. I'm too nervous. I'm too nervous. Get out of the picture. Just stay in the frame. Just stay in the Don't push. Get, with, um, get on this side. Oh, uh, Come. Stop smelling me. You make the cologne go away. <laughs> I don't know. Are you going to take the picture? What? I am. I'm setting up. I'm, I oh have to my frame God. it. I have to frame it, right? So <laughs> this is a memory that my children are going to have forever. I don't this want is to... what I've tried to get out of my life. Honey, honey. Did you? <laughs> yeah. All right. I can't stop you from doing it now, but make sure you save that lock of hair. We'll probably get some good money for it. <laughs> oh my God! You no, don't it. say more. Don't you say. Just cut my hair. No, she did. I got a really cool fade. What? It's a great fade. That's it. No, it's we're done. We're done. Sorry. Go, go, crush on Liam now or something. I don't know. Replace me. <laughs> I'm sorry, we watched all the Toy Story movies without you. It's not, it's not as bad as it seems. 
We just hate that you quote every single line of the movie it's, while we watch it. This is yeah. my favorite. I'm sorry that I love it, okay? You can be quiet and enjoy a movie, too. It's... It's, it's too... seriously just unbearable. If, if I promise to be quiet... Like the last four times? <laughs> we don't, we don't want to get... duped again. <laughs> so... Just... Shh. <laughs> Maybe, like, duct tape your mouth? <laughs> okay. Oh, if, if I do that, you'll let me wash it with you? Maybe. Yeah, you also can't get up and walk in front of the TV every five seconds because you have irritable bowel syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, that's a real condition. That's not very I'm fair. Sorry, no one's hard to watch TV with you. No one's saying, no one's saying that IBS isn't a real condition. I'm just saying it's hard to watch TV with you. No one's saying, no one's saying that IBS isn't a real condition. What we're saying is that stop letting it interfere with our lives. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, and, but partially about your frequent trips to the bathroom. Also, <laughs> stop dressing like characters. We don't need to cosplay for my living room. Yeah, it's weird. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of tension in the room. I'm gonna get some, some duct tape on my way back from the bathroom. Oh, but okay? you're still gonna come back? Okay. You hid in your mom's car? And I drove, and I drove, and I drove. <laughs> and I found myself. Because what I didn't realize was that hide and seek's actually about personal fulfillment and enrichment, not about Jimmy's gonna die in a tree, man. Well, the hide and go seek ground is my backyard, and you drove, you drove ten miles away. You should have put it in the rules. We did. It. I'm coming with you next time. <laughs> That'd be really good for you, Jamie. I need to find myself. You do. You do need to find yourself. We, we can find ourselves in my backyard. I couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> Your backyard is like 20 by 20. Yeah, Inches. That's bushes, bush, and a tree. I know, it's cramped. Fine. It's small. I'm gonna go hide in a tree. Don't bother looking for me! Are, are we still playing? Because if we're playing, I'm gonna look for you. <laughs> you didn't answer my question. <laughs> I feel that uh, it's too much for me. <laughs> this, is, this is what it means. This is what it means to be modern. I've trained for years. It shows. I'm so glad we're on the stage together now. Uh huh. Do we have an audience? I haven't turned around since we got here. <laughs> it would ruin the art for us to check. <laughs> we're not performing for an audience. We're, that's right, because we're modern artists. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna stand like this on a wall, and someone gives me money. It's like I'm a con man, but providing for society. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Look, I'm actually getting kind of tired. You can't quit. You can't quit on the art unless you unless you want to, and that that becomes part of the art. I'm not mad about it. What? It's I not can't about, do it. It's not about masculinity. I can't do it. It's not about masculinity. It's about art mostly. <laughs> Just I don't have it in me. Um, okay, if you really think. So. Carry on. I will come back for you. I, can I check for an audience or no? No. Okay. <laughs> I'm invisible. I had seen. Our next game is obviously going to be played by Dylan, Laura, and Connor, but this one is a new one and it's called Interrogation. Um, so one of these three is going to get interrogated, um, and the other two will be the interrogators. Um, so actually, the first thing I'm going to need is I'm going to need you guys to choose who gets interrogated. So by a show of applause, how about uh, Connor to get interrogated? Woo! Laura? Dylan. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so he's going to go out there so he doesn't hear, because he's going to need to guess why he's being interrogated. And that's going to come from you next. 
<laughs> All right, so the first thing I'm going to need from you is some sort of offense or an infraction that he committed. It doesn't have to be like a legal crime, but it could be. Uh, so any crime. Right from this back corner. Naked handstand. What? Naked handstand. <laughs> Uh, okay, so he was doing a naked handstand. Um, where was he doing a naked handstand from? Okay, naked handstand and the MoMA. So he was not an artist, just a random person doing a naked hands a headstand. And can we give him uh, an extra object at the scene? See the uh, offense. Like, so that he was doing it with. A balloon. A balloon. A point, man. Taser. A taser. He was doing a naked handstand at Mama with a taser. Okay. Okay, guys, wait. Connor, wait. And if if uh, don't get anything right, give him some applause. I think he didn't hear that. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, we didn't have the one to arrest you for this. Uh, personally, I respect the form. I do. It was good. It was. Um, I just don't know if, you know what, I'll, that'd be helpful. Just because I don't think you're too violent. Despite the weapon you used. Little, little violent. To mix messages. Anywho, um, look, like I said, I, I appreciate the form. I just don't think, in a place where there's tons of uh, public around, you know. It clashed it, with the artwork. <laughs> <laughs> From what he was saying, it sounds like there's a lot more of a complaint than that. It won't. Just, I, I, I like free expression. I do. Um, I like all natural. I, I do. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's not my problem. It's society's problem that you're here. Um, yeah, well, yes. Like, who needs, who needs J. Crew, you know? Who needs, <laughs> who needs a, 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 another, another name brand on them, you know? I say no less. One. I say less as to you, apparently. Yeah, I make my own clothes. <laughs> oh, you do. That yes. wasn't evident today. Not at all. Where no? was it yeah. then? Where was that artwork? That artwork? Yeah. In you my created it. What? It was your creation. It's art. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. So you are aware of how sacred one's own art is. Yes, I do not desecrate my own artwork. So, but it's okay to ruin someone else's. Part of the field. I don't understand. If you don't want to be, if you don't want to have your stuff ruined, don't be an artist. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm sorry, I should have done this. Can you stand up for a second? Sure. I can put this towel over you. Oh. <laughs> um, sorry. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not sorry. Yeah. It's art. Right. <laughs> I can put it back on, though. It's cold. Yeah. Um, so, I get it. You want to express yourself. But most people, when they do that, they just... It's more kind of run around, you know? They just run all over the place, maybe at a football field or something like that. Or a park. park. Mm -hmm. Not in a respected art gallery. Shaking things up. <laughs> <laughs> that was my first time that all my work was shown. That's not the first time I've heard that. <laughs> <laughs> also not, uh, I've, I've said that before, so common ground is important. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not so much... In fact, they did, like I said, I respect it, but, yeah. Because you're a Where you did it? What? Um, oh. And, like I said, most of the time people are running around and they do it. You just wanted to show how much upper body strength you had. Well, I know. <laughs> I know. Which was impressive. You, you, you went about 50 feet. And no stutter whatsoever. You were you're manly hungry man. Um, I know New York City is a weird place, okay? Can we admire my body real quick? <laughs> 
you were saying? I know New York City is a weird place, but I just didn't think that someone would disrespect art like that. Maybe you don't know New York City as well as you thought you did. <laughs> Can I walk around? Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Um, all right, I'll concede that streaking can be distasteful. Right, specifically, what kind of streaking? Naked streaking. <laughs> right, right, like I said, most streakers run around. You just want to show off your upper body strength. You Naked weight training. Do you, do you do gymnastics or yoga? All the time. In your spare time? Every oh, day. well that explains it then. Yeah. This is yeah. how I got like this. How do you like move this. with your arms like that? What? <laughs> <laughs> Training, I told you. I train every day to be able to move with my arms like that. <laughs> you know, it, it's normal to walk on your legs. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, sorry, because my inner ear has been a little messed up because I came down real fast because you guys tackled me. Naked. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm sticking with weight training, because that's important. <laughs> the handstand, I guess we could have done without. <laughs> but, you, but you used, I found to be shocking. Yeah, I'm doing my artwork. My artwork is burned now. Yeah, I don't know how you got your hands on one of those. Did you just be a police officer, maybe? No. I was in social security. <laughs> so, dang. <laughs> ah, social security. Right, right. I didn't know they gave um, their officers a W officer, social security officer. You goddamn bet we are. <laughs> I don't know you. Special got agent. Got that, okay, agents got that type of equipment. So nothing lethal, just. Um, um, it's dangerous. It is very dangerous. You almost. Hit a young girl who was admiring my artwork. Like yeah, you hit my artwork! Oh, well, I was aiming for both. <laughs> Five, 50 50, I guess. Hey, you're lucky it wasn't a little girl shaking on the ground. <laughs> it was a good piece of art! It was okay. Are you kidding me? It was okay, okay? It was fine. For, is it your first time? <laughs> Alright, I guess not. It is my first gallery! <laughs> Shows. Why don't you just say you used it? What? Why don't you just say you used it? Well, because I feel like flamethrower is a strong word to assign. <laughs> yeah, flamethrowers more, they burn, man. Yeah. But what you used, this, I was this, shocked. This, <laughs> uh, what? I, were, you, were you impressed that I could hold a cattle prod with my toes? <laughs> <laughs> is that what you call it? You call it a cattle prod? I've never seen police officers. I'm not agent from holding, the state. Holding a cattle prod. <laughs> what? I never knew special agents held cattle prods. It's because they don't want you to know that special agents have <laughs> cattle prods. It's part of our mystery. Can you have like a shorter version or one that you can like, what? shoot? <laughs> what? More like a, it shoots more like a gun or you have a shorter version? Tasers are for pussies. <laughs> <laughs> So that was another way to express yourself then, what? right? Yeah. And can do seizures. <laughs> Which are art. My only question is, why would you there? Why not art? Why not be like everyone else? Why did you have to do it? Why an establishment that displays lots of art? Because the Guggenheim has been riding high for far too long. But I couldn't get in. So I had to settle for this other place. <laughs> Like how society is now. It's a terrible society. It's one where I can't walk around with a taser in my toes and no clothes on and a handstand at an art gallery and say, Here I come, world. I'm gonna hit that little girl and also that artwork with this taser. So you don't like the way things are today. Current art. Modern art. <laughs> Modern art is shit. <laughs> what establishment that you think would showcase modern art? I'm modern art. It's in the name. So you went to a place. I had to go to a place. That's a <laughs> that showcase modern art, damn it. Yeah. My modern art! 
Your modern my art. My modern art. Our modern art. No, it, it belongs to all of us. It was my gallery. It was sir. selfish. I just thought that was cool. I painted it. It was cool. Uh, I got to contribute and reinforce myself as an artiste. No, you are not an artiste. You're a art ruiner. You tell me. <laughs> That's mean. That's a mean thing to say. I'm glad. Her. It was emotional. Can I have my taser back? You know, as soon as we get this over with, All just right. say where you were okay. and get your taser. Okay. Did you guys pick it up off the floor? Uh, yeah, I got it. Okay. So, am I, are they, am I going to be allowed back in the moment? I feel like I feel like doing naked handstands with tasers in your toes and desecrating art at the moment is not that big of a deal.